Cars are the heart and soul of Forza Motorsport 4. At Turn 10, we're passionate about bringing the most incredible cars to your garage. But before we do that, we have to travel the world, collecting, researching, and sourcing these cars for use in the game. The process starts with design announcing a car. From there, I go to clubs, look for for sale ads or dealerships. And sometimes there's people I've already met. But at the end of the day, these guys are car guys. They're open to it, and they enjoy sharing their car. And for Forza 4, that car is their car. It's going to be in there forever. And it's something you can't take away from that car owner. And those car owners, I think, really enjoy that. That would be like the highlight of my life. My, you know, some of my MMA fans driving my car from Forza. If it, if it makes it, I'd be, I'd be happy. If not, you know, it'd be like, OK, next time I try. Each method of acquiring reference for a car has different advantages and disadvantages. Scanning is nice because we know it's correct. We know the shape is accurate. The manufacturer that we have to approve it with knows the shape is accurate. When we scan a car, we're getting data on the inside and the outside of the car that's accurate to 12 thousandths of an inch um, of every surface that we capture. Some of the other ways that we capture data for cars is to take photographs of the car. We shoot photographs for two different reasons. One is for texture source. But we also have to rebuild the shape. In cases that we couldn't scan the car, we have to recreate the 3D shape of the car out of photos. So you, you take photos from a lot of different angles, and then we lay those photos in behind the geometry as we're building them. So we actually match the geometry to the photo in the viewport when the artist works, and then we can match them to multiple views and know that it's correct, and then the shape is sub-centimeter accurate on the surface of the car. We think of the Auto Vista Experience cars almost as a, as a level to explore. You can go in there, open the doors, lift the hood. So we have to capture the gauge sweeps, the light beeps, all that stuff that happens in the car when you first key it up to a much higher level of detail. With the introduction of Auto Vista, we wanted to really immerse the player in that moment. So what we do is we actually have a surround sound 5.1 microphone that we put in the driver's position inside the car while we record that entire sequence. Authenticity is the key to the car sounds for this game. If you just sit there and rev a car in neutral, the engine, it, yeah, it sounds OK, but it doesn't sound like it does when it's under load, when it's being stressed. So we actually strap a car to a dynamometer, which is a way to measure horsepower. But what it does is it simulates in a static environment the engine being under load. So we run the car through the gears, and we get a very accurate sound that way. Every car is different, and we'll spend some time walking around the car at first, trying to work out where the cool sounds are, what the sounds are that really capture the sound of that car, and then we'll position multiple microphones on each of those sources to try and get different perspectives to make sure that when we bring it back to the studio, we can get everything we need and reproduce the sound of that car. The audio sessions allow us to have the car sound real in-game, and the dyno session really allows us to push it to its limits. Car sourcing is crucial for every car in the game. The lower end cars in the game are just as important to us as the high end cars because a lot of people have got experience driving the first cars that you're going to get in the game and we need to deliver that experience. Much fewer people have driven a Ferrari, but all cars are important to us and we need to make sure that every car is as authentic as it can be. From the sounds of the engines to capturing every line and curve on the car, the result of all this hard work is the most authentic, beautiful, and fun driving experience on the Xbox 360.